Hey guys, in today's video, I will share with you my updated product research criteria, so be sure that you stay tuned. Hey guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon ABS seller from beautiful San Diego. As I mentioned earlier, we will be talking about my product research criteria uh, or the updated product research criteria um, I will also be adding a few things to it uh, during the video and I'll be showing you guys how I put it to work so <clears throat> you know this is something that a lot of or not a lot of but all Amazon sellers especially beginner Amazon sellers need to establish before actually going into Amazon it's just like you know when you are a digital, you know, in the digital market or uh, marketing field, or you're some type of, you know, uh, you're starting a new business, just any business really. You start, you need to first, um, you know, establish who your audience is, right? Establish what your target is and who you are going to target, who you're going to go after, and and whatnot. So in this case, it's the same exact thing. It is the products that we are going to target. We need to sculpture our product. We need to figure out exactly what type of products we are going to be, you know, searching for. Uh, because, I mean, there are millions and millions of products on Amazon, and you can't exactly be searching for just everything, you know. So this is very important, right? You need to figure out exactly what you're going to look for and just go for it. But you need to make sure that the products are actually going to work and it is something that you could do you know so this is my product research criteria this is how I go for it um, you know this is kind of the old one but I'll be adding a few things as I go um, and I'll be updating you guys so um, you know as you can see it says run Jungle Scouts Chrome extension and it doesn't have to be Jungle Scouts it could be any Chrome extension right um, and analyze top 10 listings not including sponsors so what I do is once I find a product, I run Jungle Scouts, and then from there, I'll go and match up all this criteria. Now, let's go back into the criteria itself and just kind of talk about and break it down. So, as you can see, the first thing says um, $3,000 um, per month because that is typically the, um, the goal, or that's exactly what I look for. And the reason why I have the um, level or the, the, the number at that, because I know there are products out there, enough products out there that can make me three thousand dollars or above um aside from that um you know i go into reviews so reviews it's actually not 50 but it is as high as even 70 that still should be good um from there i look into products that have sales of 300 a month or more and then um you know price selling price of more than 18 dollars um, where it says, um, you know, 999, I mean, obviously if you're going to follow this, it's not going to be here. You don't want it to be less than that because, um, then Amazon will, um, uh, you know, put it in the add on item category and you don't want to be there. Price action where it says stable. What I mean by that is you don't want a product that, you know, top 10 listings, you know, you have someone at $18 and then you got $12 and you got $32 and then, you know, you want it to be all within, you know, $5 of each other or so. Um, liability, uh, no. The reason why I say that is because, let's say, if a product is like, uh, let's say it fits a toys and games, right? You don't want it, if it's being sold for kids, you don't want it to have little particles that maybe a child can, you know, choke on it or something, right? Breakable, no, because being shipped from China. Um, competitors listings, I look at, and that's actually one thing that I want to talk about today. Competitors listings. Just a few days ago, I posted a video about a product that I found within about five minutes that has the potential of making me $25. Uh, the little uh, card at the top right now is going to, you know, the suggestion is going to uh, uh, pop up. And you guys can click on there and actually go to that product or to that video. But that product that I found, a lot of the sellers had, you know, between two to three and a half reviews, which is a good thing that I always look for when analyzing a product, right? And the reason why I say that is because if other sellers have bad rating, you can go and look at those ratings and see why customers are leaving them bad ratings. Is it just a bad product altogether? Are these sellers just not doing a good job? What exactly are they doing? And then when you launch your product, you improve on those things right so that is very important and that's one of the mo most important things that i pay attention to a lot more than i did before right so i'm gonna 
kind of highlight this, right? So weight, two and a half pounds, up to three pounds, three and a half should be okay. Dimensions fits in the shoe box. Cost of product, 25% or below of selling price. So if you're selling the product for $20, it needs to be landed to US for $5 or below. FBI calculator, you just go to Google, you know, search FBI calculator, and you find out what Amazon is going to charge you to fulfill this product. Panted, I do not like anything that's panted. Product dominant, if anything has three or more listings. So let's say you search a product. Let's say you search, I always use this example, grill gloves, and you see top 10, at least three of those listings are dominated by the same brand or by the same name the same uh, seller then stay away so no okay so that's another thing that's very important that I have been watching out for lately that I didn't before that you know actually makes a big difference another thing that I want to add on is Amazon seller if it has two or more Amazon seller then it is a no if two or more of the listings are being sold by Amazon don't do it you know they you know I mean you're you know you're competing against a multi-billion dollar company I just wouldn't do it right so now the seller isn't gonna say Amazon but fulfilled is gonna say Amazon because a lot of times what Amazon does is once a brand or a product gets big enough what they'll do is they'll buy it out so the seller is gonna stay whatever the name of that product is but fulfillment under fulfillment you need to check and see if it says AMZ or FBA or FBM, right? Those are the three options that you always will see. Now, here's how it works. So what I do is I look at the top 10 listings. I take out the sponsored, and here's why. Because those sponsored ads, those sponsored products are always changing, you know, due to, let's say, if someone's uh, budget runs out, if someone is bidding more, so you can't exactly rely on them because all different kinds of products are going to pop up there. So you take out the sponsored products, and then from there what you do is you go after seven of the top ten. So seven of the top ten listings need to match your criteria. I would say at least, you know, if let's say we got, well, how many do we have here? So we have 60, wait, that's not right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we do have 16. So we got 16 different variables, right? I would say at least, at least, at least 80% of that. So if we do 16 times 0.8, that will that says 12.8. So 12 to 13 of the 16 <clears throat> need to match up in order for you to say, okay, this is a good product. I will fall through and I will actually do some more research. So let's go to, on actually on Amazon. Let's kind of see how it looks really like, right? Uh, let's put it to action. So um if we just go to amazon and say let's see here and say uh grill gloves i always like to use this example so grill gloves all right so cool we got this right here right so what we're gonna do right now is we're going to we're going to run jungle scouts and see how that does and see what kind of numbers we're going to see and then we're going to match up our product research criteria and then from there, we will go, let's see here. All right, so let's bring it on here. Oh, I guess I can't do that. I thought I could, but I guess I can't. I have to minimize this as well. Let's minimize it this way. So we can have that up here and bring that this way. All right, cool. Sorry about that. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and, and kind of analyze this together. Let's see if I can take that out. Okay, great. Okay. And then let's make this bigger. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this together, right? So we say three thousand dollars I mean obviously this makes a lot more than that right if you look at the revenue I mean you know all these guys are making way more than that so that's good so reviews reviews has to be below 70 and here's how I do it so I look at the top 10 I take out all the sponsored let's take out all the sponsored so one two three four five and you can do this but this is either bottom or the second page you don't need to worry about those right 
so what I'll do is I'll look at them and then here's what I'll do. I'll I'll look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So fifty-two is our last one. So what I'll do is I'll go no. Yeah, I mean seventy-eight, seventy-five is the same thing, right? So one, no, 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 two, no, three. So three out of the top ten. Okay, seven of the top that need to be below 75 or 70, but we only have three, and one of them is really a little bit over, right? But we just kind of said, okay, it's okay, right? So reviews and sales are the top two. If those two don't match up, I just pass right away, right? But let's just keep going. Um, over 300, I mean, just looking at this, yeah, at least seven of the top 10 do 300 sales. That's cool. Um, 18 or over, looking at them, almost everyone is over 18, so I'll say yes. Uh, Add on, no. Uh, stable. I mean, you do have some at $9, you have some at 26 but I guess overall it's okay. Possible liability to grill glove, I mean, I guess it can be. If the material is actually bad and you burn someone, it can come back. So that's kind of an iffy thing. Breakable, no. Uh, competitors listing. So you look at their ratings, right? So everyone is 4, 4.5. I guess they're doing okay, but you can still look at their listings and see what you can improve on, right? Uh, way 2.5, yes. Um, fits in a shoebox, yes it does, less than 5% at 25% and now that's something that you are going to have to contact suppliers in order for you to actually, you know, find out, right? So you need to contact suppliers and see exactly how much, you know, how much they're going to charge you. Um, FBA calculator, let me show you how that works actually. Let's go ahead and let's do this. So let's go, let's get out of here, let's go to Google. And then let's go to FBA calculator. All right, so Amazon FBA calculator. So let's say we're going to choose. Okay, so whatever this product is, let's go ahead and choose it. I'm not sure. Oh wow, look, it's actually grip gloves. So what you can do is you can either um, you can either put in the um, the ASIN number, you could put in the URL or whatever it is. But what I do is I always choose ASIN. So let's say this is the right one, right? So price, um, item price, let's say we're going to sell it for $20. Always go under Amazon Fulfillment, not your fulfillment. This FBM, this FBA, this is where you want to be. Um, ship to Amazon. So what I typically do is I'll just go to here, cost of product. So ship to Amazon and, and then, you know, including. So this is all included, right, with your um, with your uh, kind of like landed price, like how much it's going to all cost, right? So let's say it's going to cost me $5. So it's going to cost me $5.27 or $26, right? And then I'm going to see how much it's going to be. So what it's saying is that if I sell this product at $20, Amazon's um, uh, fees, right, the, the fulfillment fees are $3.00. The FBA, the the you know the the referral fee is three forty three. So altogether is six dollars and forty three cents, right? So proceeds is thirteen fifty seven. Out of that, we're gonna take out five dollars and twenty six cents. That's gonna go to the cost of the product. So I've got eight dollars and thirty one cents profit, which is forty one percent, which is awesome. It's amazing. Um, if you could match these numbers, believe me, especially with a product like this, you'll be making over three four thousand dollars. So that is exactly how I go about, you know, finding products, analyzing them, and just kind of the whole shebang, right? Uh, just to kind of go over this again, once again, take out all the sponsored, analyze seven of the top ten, over 70, or let, let's just even do the 75, right? Um, under 75, over eight, uh, 300, um, $18 or more, uh, price action stable, liability no breakable, no. Look at the, um, the competitors' listings. You know, this even it could be over, you know, three and a half pounds, right? Uh, fits in a shoe box, 25%. I mean, this could even go up to 30, but, you know, just kind of stay around there. But those two are very important. Brand name dominant and Amazon seller. A lot of times you'll see great numbers, but this will be a big issue. This has created very big problems for me and my students, so be sure to watch out for it. Guys, once again, Bashar Ketu here. Let's go to the question of the day. Um, since we haven't done that. So the question of the day is, what problems are you having with your Amazon business today? Is it finding products? Is it sourcing products? Is it, you know, finding suppliers? Is it creating listings? Whatever the answer is to that question, drop it in the comments below. Also, let me know what other topics you guys want me to cover in the future videos. Guys, once again, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon be a seller from beautiful San Diego. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys like this video, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for future videos like this and others. 
Also, share this video with your friends and let me know if you guys have any questions. Once again, Bashar Ketu here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day and take care.